I wanted to ask you about something that you've spoken about this and I'm my condolences, but your niece was killed. Yes. And I think for a lot of people that would have been something that maybe made it hard for them to believe in any kind of alternative to the status quo. But it seems like that was something that made you that much more committed to human rights. Yes, well, th th there are several aspects to that. So first of all, the death of this 13-year-old girl that I loved so much and you know, we all loved so much uh, in, in such a sudden, violent, horrifying way is exactly the kind of thing that forces us to change. That's precisely, sadly enough, I think when we to be a big change in our perspective and our belief system um, usually comes as a result of something terrible. A terrible experience. And that's precisely, this is exactly the kind of horrific experience that forces us. Now, I can't really take the, the, the credit for what I did afterwards because my sister, Nareet, who was, you know, this was her daughter, when she was asked about revenge and retaliation and all the things that Israelis love so much, she said, no real mother would want to see this happen to any other mother. And Wow, you know, I mean, so she said, you know, you're talking to me about killing more people in response to this horrific death of my daughter. Are you out of your minds? Are you out of your minds? And so then suddenly she humanized every, everything. Every, the people became people. And then you wonder, well, these three young Palestinians that took their own lives, three young men, you know, took their lives and the lives of all these, you know, people with them innocent people that they didn't never knew what, what you know you got to pause you got to think wait a minute what, what is happening here how does what, what kind of a reality brings something like this to happen you know you have to engage and go deeper to find out what 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 are what's going on here how does this happen what kind of reality brought these people to do such a thing to themselves to their own families and to the families of, of the of the of the other victims um, so, you know, my sister's words obviously were, were a huge, had a huge impact on me. And, um, and then I went ahead and engaged and, you know, saw Palestinians to engage with and so on.